This is the book of Psalm chapter 25. I'll start from verse 3, which quotes, Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Show me thy ways, O Lord Yahweh. Teach me thy path. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the power of my salvation. On thee do I wait all day. All praises to the Most High Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rukah Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, laboring and risking their lives to push this truth. Shalom also to those who are sincerely seeking this truth. Now it's the brother Yara Ya from the GMS Italia camp, and I'm here with this quick one, which the title is going to be Waiting on the Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay. So as we just read from the book of Psalm 25, verse 3, I'm going to read again. Yeah. Let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. So as you can see, all those who wait on the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, or those who wait on our Mashiach Yahweh Shai, shall not be ashamed. Now let's go. Let's go and look into the world word wait and see what it gives us. In its Hebrew form, it's called Kalva. Kalva. Okay. It says a primitive root to bind together. Be twisted, that is collect figuratively to expect, to gather together, to look patiently, tarry, to wait for, and upon, to wait, to look for, to hope to expect now let's take this word hope okay ye let no, none that let none that hope on thee be ashamed let them be ashamed which transgress without cause our hope is Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai our hope is the return of our Mashiach Yahweh Shai okay our hope is not in this world. This world is played out. It has nothing to offer us. Okay. Our hope is the kingdom to come because this kingdom is destroyed and degraded. It's a mess here. Yeah. Perhaps this world is not given to us. It's given into the hands of the wicked. It's their time to shine. Our time to shine is yet to come. And I'm saying this because, you know, a lot of brothers coming into this truth, you know, they give up many things, you know. Many brothers give up certain careers. Many brothers give up, you know, relationships and a lot of things, you know. And the scripture also tells us that he who loses, I'm just paraphrasing, you know, he who loses um, family, houses or whatever or anything shall get them, gain them back in a hundredfold, you know. So the scriptures don't lie, you know. Because lately, you might find yourself in a situation whereby you've been tempted, you know, to go back to that world that you used to be in, to go back to that hustle that you used to be in, you know. Man, it's not a time, Hakim. It's not a time. And for this reason, many have fallen off this truth, you know. They get that temptation, you know, of going back to their vomit, you know, just like the scripture says, you don't want to be like that dog, you know, going back to its vomit, you know. That world you used to leave, let it be gone. It's, it's that world, you know. And I'm saying this because, you know, the temptation is heavy lately, you know. You might see some people that you all started out together, you know, now driving some huge cars, you know, living in huge houses, you know, following these careers and being known, you know, all these things, you know, they kind of like want to entice you back into that world, man, hold strong. Yahweh Shai is who you should be waiting upon. Wait for Yahweh Shai, for the time is no longer long, man. There is no more time, man. It's not time to backslide back into the world. And it says, 
show me thy thy ways O Yahweh teach me thy path you know this is this this way which is this truth man is is a beauty man this is peace you find peace in this truth you find beauty in this truth you find everything you want in this truth because our hope our hope is found in this truth you know man try to imagine you know eyes have not seen neither have ears heard that which the most high yahweh bashem yahweh shai has prepared for those who love him for those who wait upon him man it's not time to backslide it's not time to go back to that world man i know how it feels man i know how it feels because i, I i'm also i've also gone through these things i'm also going through these things you know verse 5 lead me in thy truth and teach me for thou art the power of my salvation on thee do i wait all day on thee do i wait all day man <laughs> The prophet David was heavy man he was heavily in the spirit man you know which by the spirit we know is the same person as Peter you know he was he was really he, the most high Yahweh was really dealing with him man for him to write these things that are comforting us in these days man he was really heavy in the spirit so i'm going to get another quick precept always from the book of psalm go to chapter 27 this is the book of psalm chapter 27 verse 14 which quotes wait on the lord yahweh be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart wait i say on the lord you know we saw we saw the root word of that word wait you know it says to wait for to look eagerly for to wait or look eagerly for to hope okay so our hope who we are eagerly waiting for should be the most high yahweh by hashem yahweh shai now we don't want to be like this hypocrite from the church from the fake churches around the world you know 501c trees you know it's fake false teachers you know teaching the congregation well they don't even call the name of the most high they don't call the name of his son they call a renaissance name which you know the most High has given them to that blindness you know according to the book of romans you know he has given them that spirit of blindness eyes that they can't see and ears that they can't hear you know it's the doing of the most high because this truth isn't given to everybody you know so it's funny because you know these preachers these so-called preachers they they, they 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 are all like motivational speakers man they can speak for hours man without opening a scripture you know and they'll tell you ah uh, you need to you need to achieve your dreams you need to do this you need to do that be the best in your career this that man fuck all that stuff man excuse my italian you know so and this thing has actually gotten that's got into the into the heart of jake because jake jake wants to wants to put his hope on on wealth okay jake wants to put his hope on his career he measures his life about how far he has gone in his career okay this is the problem with jake man the book of isaiah chapter 1 verse 3 the ox and the donkey i'm just paraphrasing you know they know their owner but israel does not consider man we want to base our achievement we want to base our achievements on on our careers on how far we've gone with our careers on how much money we've made and how much property we have this is what we want to do you know and in which you know our hope is actually hope on things that are not sin because if they were sin man it's easy it's easy 
and this is one one great mystery of this of this truth you know people don't know why we have so much hope in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai there is no tangible thing to grab on to see but we in the spirit we see these prophecies are enough for us you know they give us hope but they they are out in, in the world they can't see what we see you know they can't see nothing so they can't they can't seem to want to go along you know with this hope which comes from Yahweh Shai you know this is the blindness of the world the most I give them this blindness it give them eyes so they can't see and ears so they can't hear you know according to the book of Romans you know and it's the doing of the most high because many are called and few are chosen and regarding what I was saying I believe there is a scripture here in the book of Hebrew chapter 9 think about 28 Okay, this is the book of this is the book of Hebrew, chapter nine, verse twenty-eight. So the anointed was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. You know, so for those for them that look for him. Now let's see the roots of this word to look for. Hey, it's a hard one. It said, it says, Apek de o am o ahi. Apek dek komai. Apek de komai. Okay. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing it well. It says from the root word of to expect fully look wait for okay assiduously and patiently waiting for okay now let me get to this root word it says to receive to accept to look for to expect to wait for okay to await now let's see this root word to no. let me see the second root word So as you can see, we expect, we accept, okay, we receive, we wait for Yahweh Shai, you know. So he's coming back for those who expect and wait for him. He's not coming back for those who are who are expecting to be to be to be to be richer in within few years. He's not coming for those who are expecting. You know to hit a huge deal in the year 2024 it's not coming back for those who all their heart is set on their riches and their careers okay who all their heart is set on this world it's coming for those who wait for him or look upon him okay let's get another scripture There is a lot in the book of um, Psalms, but I'm going to skip and I'll go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 40. This is a famous one. And it quotes, But they that wait upon Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with eagle, with wings as eagle. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint and this is actually speaking about the time to come and we expect this power from the how about shemi how shy you know so when all these things start happening people people would wonder how come men they don't know men has been waiting you know men has been hoping on this on this prophecies you know still the same the same the same book speaks about you know Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you know, making making a, 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 a weapon of threshing, you know. I'm just paraphrasing. I can't, I can't really remember exactly how it's written, you know. 
making us weapons you know to trash our enemies to destroy them and break them into pieces you know this is what hope is like this is what victory is like really you know this is what you know so if there is a word for saying you hit a, a, a three trillion dollar jackpot or whatever and that should be about the salvation of yashar allah israel the salvation of israel okay so our hope is in the return of our mashiach our hope is not in this world man we we don't care about this this world can can be destroyed tomorrow man we don't give a flying f man let's get another scripture always from the book of um, isaiah chapter 8 this is verse 17 says and i will wait upon the lord yahweh that hideth his face from the house of jacob and i will look for him can the most high has hidden his face from the whole house of jacob for a long time now you know but all oh, praises to the most high yahweh by hashem yahweh shai he started making himself revealed again by giving us this knowledge this truth you know beginning from the elder apostles and before them those who were before them you know about bevens um the priest area you know then down on to the apostle taha then down on to the rest of the apostles you know the most High is re revealing himself and he's going to finally reveal himself more when his son yahweh shai turns which comes back man we have hope. Our hope is out of this world, man. Now, I have lots of precepts on this lesson, but it's tr seem, it seems to me like it's getting a little too long. Mm, I don't want to really make it long. So, yeah, there is, there is a scripture I would like to share, which is in the book of Romans, chapter 8. I start from verse 23 and it says and not only they but they but and not only they but ourselves also which have the first fruits of the spirit even we ourselves grown within ourselves waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our body for we are saved by hope but hope that is seen is not hope for what a man seeth why does he yet hope for it man this is heavy man it's just everything i was trying to explain earlier you know this was the scripture i was actually looking for you know this is the difference between us and the world they hope on things that are seen you know they want quick response they want to invest they want to invest on certain careers on certain businesses and stuff or so whatever yeah now i'm not saying it's bad but when it becomes your priority when it becomes what you see as the future man you're far away from the truth man far away from the truth you know but we are actually hoping on things in which people be like man where these people get that hope from like what what are they hoping on they're hoping on nothing because it's not given to them to see these things you know so he says but if we hope for that we see not then do we do we with patience wait for it okay so we are actually waiting for these things you know we're waiting for the lord yahweh shai to come back to give us those power to give us that power you know to return us to our normal estates as as the sons daughters of as the sons actually and daughters of the most high yahweh bashem yahweh shai you know the sons of the power which that's the meaning of israel yashar allah there are many more scriptures i'll just share one more and i'll close so this is the book of um uh, this is the book of um Galatians chapter 5 
verse 5, which quotes, For we through the Spirit wait for the hope of, of righteousness by faith. Okay. Let me share another quick one. Um, I'll take the book of Jeremiah 14, 22. Are there many among the vanities of the Gentiles that can cause rain, or can the heavens give showers? Art not thou he, O Lord Yahweh, our power? Therefore we will wait upon thee, for thou hast made all things. And this goes exactly back to all I'm saying, you know. These careers can't take you anywhere. These careers these um asp inspirations of lives or whatever uh, you know because people jake is going really crazy now everyone is going behind one career or anything you know expecting maybe in the year 20, 2024 they, they blow up and become they be become millionaires or whatever on all these things man there is no hope in all that shit man but we we put our hope in yahweh by hashem yahweh shai to hell with this world man to hell with everything that is in this world. We don't give a flying fuck, man. To hell with everything. So I hope I'm going to stop here. Still have many more precepts, but you know, I'll stop here. And I hope this lesson is um edifying. You know, our hearts should be set on the return of Yahweh Shai. Now wait upon Yahweh Shai for his time is the best time, man give no heed to any temptation or seducing spirit to make you go back to that world or go back to those things that you left behind man now i'd like to give all praises to the most high yahweh bashem yahweh shai bashem kakudash my double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone gms who taught me this truth peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth now on to the next one shalom